Hi there, good to see you again. By now, you should have a pretty clear picture of what psychosocial benefits children can gain from sport. You should also be familiar with some of the environmental conditions that support this development. Would you like a few more ideas and tools to use in your sessions? Great! Let's have a look at a simple model that has been successfully used to promote personal development through sport. This model has come to be known as the C system for personal development through sport. The original idea came from Professor Richard Lerner in the US and it has been adapted for sport by David Haskins and UK Coaching. The model is rooted in what's known as the Positive Youth Development Movement or PYD. PYD focuses on supporting children and young people develop the attitudes, behaviours and skills they need to flourish. PYD is not about eradicating negative behaviours. PYD is more about equipping kids with what they need to do well and to become fully contributing members of society. A favourite mantra of PYD is that we must look at children and young people not as problems to be managed, but as resources to be developed. This is a way more positive and proactive approach to personal development than just telling kids what they have to stop doing, isn't it? In a nutshell, the C system comprises six elements. When these six are sufficiently developed, children seem to thrive and make more successful transitions into adulthood. These elements include 1. Competence 2. Confidence 3. Connection 4. Character 5. Caring and 6. Creativity Let's look at this one by one. Competence is about developing a positive view of one's actions, that is, feeling and being capable of doing things that are important to us. Confidence involves an internal sense of overall self-worth. For instance, thinking, I'm a worthy human being regardless of how I look or my ability. Confidence also relates to our perceptions of how well we can deal with the demands of everyday life. This is also called self-efficacy. Connection is about building positive relationships with people and the institutions or environments we live in. These positive relationships benefit both the child and others and create a sense of belonging to something bigger than oneself. Character deals with having a sense of right and wrong and of respect for societal and cultural rules. Caring is about developing a sense of empathy and having the capacity to care for others. It is also about experiencing a feeling of being cared for by those around us. And finally, creativity is understood as the capacity to find solutions to problems and to have original thoughts and ideas. What's really interesting about the C system is that research shows that children who score highly on the Cs seem to develop an additional C, contribution. These children seem to be able to make greater contributions to their own development and to those around them and their communities. It's a win-win situation, isn't it? You'll agree with me that sport is an ideal place to develop the seas, right? Let's explore what kind of things we can do as coaches to foster them. For instance, to develop competence, coaches should set up activities that are pitched at the right level. These will progressively enhance the children's real and perceived levels of ability. Here, it is important that coaches find ways to show the children that they are getting better. Setting targets and testing for personal best every now and again are good ways to go about it. In terms of how to develop confidence, coaches should help children experience success regularly and create what's called a mastery climate. This is about helping kids focus on their improvement rather than comparing them to other kids or to elite athletes. Having said this, a big part of building confidence is challenging children enough to foster a certain level of resilience, the ability to cope with failure, setbacks and disappointment. The next item, connection, is a very important piece of the puzzle. It can be developed naturally by being part of a group, but coaches can also promote it by making sure that being at the club feels special and by showing kids their appreciation. Coaches can also encourage connection by giving kids a chance to work cooperatively with others, by helping others and even by letting them help the coach run the session. And why not organise social events every now and then? Disco or bowling night are always big hitters. As for character, 
Sport is a perfect fit for this. Being part of an environment that respects and cares for participants, coaches, officials, parents and the rules of the sport should do it. Coaches should model and reinforce these values at all time. What about caring? Coaches have a major role to play here. Greeting children by the name as they come into the session, asking them about their day to day, the day at school, how their weekend went, goes a long way. Coaches can also ask children regularly if there is anything they can do to help them improve or to enjoy the sessions more. And coaches can also create situations where children have to care for each other, like for example, using a buddy system, where pairs have to look out for each other every day. Finally, creativity can be fostered by using activities and creating situations where participants have to think for themselves. Helping children understand rather than making them copy and repeat mindlessly is key. Small-sided games, team challenges, self-assessments and questioning techniques can make a very big, big impact here. Whoa, a lot to take in. But also a bit of a recipe and plenty of ingredients we can use to cook up a good personal development dinner for the kids we coach. Importantly, for those concerned about the lack of time coaches have to work on personal development, everything we just talked about can be integrated into your regular training sessions. It just needs a little bit of extra thought and preparation. The impact on the kids is well worth the effort. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to download the study guide to complete the relevant activities and if you want to know more. There are plenty more examples there. See you in the next video.